Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton facing off over the economy, health care, and foreign policy. So, who came out ahead? And here to grade them, Democratic Ohio State Senator Patrick Faro and former Missouri GOP Chairman Ed Martin. Thank you both for joining us this morning. Absolutely. Good morning. Good morning. All right. So let's begin with the economy. Uh, at the count of three, raise up your paddle. Who you think uh, did best in <laughs> one, one, two, three? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Ed, we'll start with you this time. Uh, why do you think that uh, Donald Trump did best when it came to the economy? You know, I think um, when you listen to Trump, and I was in the hall, and you kind of watched it without commentators or anything, what you heard is a couple of just facts. I mean, things. his tax plan, I think, is clear to business owners, to individuals, makes a lot of sense. But I also thought the other areas where you th I think voters will understand on the economy understood where we are. One is energy costs. He got a question from a participant about energy costs, and he had real things to say about lowering the cost and how to change it. The other one is regulations in general and how we need to get rid of regulations. And I, we're going to get to about Obamacare and health care, but I think those things made people understand he's got a grasp of the economy, and Hillary was talking sort of in Hillary speak. I think it was a real, real Trump win. Uh, Capri, what do you think uh, in terms of the economy? Who handled it best? Well, as you saw, I split the baby, mm -hmm. um, as I did in the last segment. But, I, you know, I, I do think that this was by far Donald Trump's best performance of the evening. Uh, he did show a command of the issues surrounding the economy, surrounding taxes, surrounding regulatory reform. Um, but at the same time, Hillary Clinton, I think her message resonated more with voters, um, particularly um, those uh, that are middle income, that are looking for, uh, you know, an opportunity for the, quote, unquote, uh, you know, individuals to pay their Fair share, uh, and she also focused on having a, a basically a trade prosecutor, which is something that I think is very important uh, in the context of this election, as we've been so focused on trade and its role in the economy. Yeah, specifically, um, some of your constituents in, in your area of the country. That's so, right, in Ohio. Yeah, let's move to uh, foreign policy. The count of three: one, two, three. Who did best? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ed, once again, of course, you're saying uh, Donald Trump. And why do you think he did best? And at one point, he talked about uh, Hillary Clinton. He hit her on not using the term, you know, radical yeah. Islamic terrorism. Well, you're reading my mind. I actually was thinking, as I mentioned, the thing about this uh, topic, I, you know, the question of security in America, and, and I think a lot of folks, uh, you know, we're here, we're here in St. Louis area, sort of people who are soccer moms and all that sort of standard thing, they're worried about security. Donald Trump named the enemy. And even when he was given a choice of trying to take on Syria and do other things, he said, first, we've got to get rid of ISIS. People want a leader when it comes to foreign policy that is not going to be a world kind of governor, but someone who's going to look, out of, look at American interests first. And I think on that one, Islamic terrorism, fundamentalism, mm -hmm. the question of terrorism, he was strong and it was contrasting with uh, Hillary. And I think that's why he won on it. Yeah, Capri, uh, when it came to what Hillary Clinton had to say, uh, she said that the way to defeat ISIS is to create this coalition of the majority of Muslim nations. Right, and, and, I, and I think that that's reflective of her experience as uh, Secretary of State and a former uh, United States Senator as well. I think that she has a better grasp on the reality of the complexities of, um, you know, our, our global partners um, and what it takes to actually defeat terrorism. Uh, you know, and I think that Donald Trump was all over the board. I mean, he was all over the board on Syria, all over mm -hmm. the board on Russia, and I think that it reflected, you know, his inexperience in this, ish in this area. All right, so let's talk finally about health care. <laughs> Count of three, who do you think uh, won that? <laughs> One, two, three. There you go. Uh, Ed, once again, you think that Donald Trump did best in this area. He, of course, said repeal and replace. Right. Well, listen, I, I think it was a big night for Trump. He won the whole debate. So no, I'm, I, if I look like I'm picking him every time. But on this question, what he really came at Hillary and he said, this is a great example of his point. He was saying, you've been here 30 years. You pursued an agenda for 30 years. You mm -hmm. haven't made things better. On this question, she's been pushing for a single payer in her WikiLeaks and the speeches. She's now said in, in one setting she wants a single payer. Yeah. In others, she talks about other things. What he's saying is we have to change the system that they've made so bad. And I think and repeal and replace makes right. a lot of sense and she, and says it, she just it, it wants resonates to fix with it. Both. Sorry to cut you off. We're about to run out of time. Capri, just have to get your response very, very quickly. Well, I mean, Hillary, I think, did a much better job. I've spent my entire adult life in health care policy, and it's much more complex and nuanced than just repeal and replace. You've got to have a plan, and she had a much more nuanced plan that she presented yesterday to the American public. All right. Ed Capri, thank you both for joining us this morning. Thank you.
Thank you.